book a flight somewhere and the airline's promotions soon arrive in the mailbox. Quickly order a few clothes online and the bargain offers follow every second. Think about your private mailbox. How many mails in it have you not consciously subscribed to? And then, first of all, the spam folder. Where do all the mails come from? And above all, where do the senders all have your address from? You may have unknowingly forgotten to check the box with which you subscribe to the newsletter when placing an order. Or you may have forgotten to click it off because clever entrepreneurs have already activated it for you. A method that is legitimate for newsletters, by the way, even if it is not child-friendly. In the case of the privacy policy, this is forbidden. Here the user must be active. So let's say you forgot and now they're here, the newsletters. Content marketing meets email marketing. That's the short version of good newsletter texts. If you have already written blog articles, dealt with various social media formats and posts, then an email will be a piece of cake, right? Whereas standing out is not even that easy with these numbers. 4.3 billion people worldwide will use email in 2022. So it needs a good strategy and as always relevance, added value and authenticity. It's only one line, but in that case it's the door opener par excellence. In principle, it's exactly the same as a headline. You read it and scroll on. Or you get stuck. Which also makes it clear, for a suitable subject line, the target group must be clear. Because suitable can only mean suitable for a certain part of the recipients. The headlines in Germany's tabloid press alone, compared with serious daily newspapers, prove that it could hardly be more different. And yet, there are interested parties for both communication styles. Conciseness and brevity are paramount. The most important word comes at the beginning. Short, simple words are ideal, rather nouns and verbs, and especially no filler words. A preheader can be used to elaborate on the subject line or add information. Subject lines can be broadly categorized as follows. How does the content benefit the user? Five tips on how to revolutionize your digital marketing. Here the content is immediately clear. The address is personal and the added value is obvious. Create curiosity and or FOMO, I'll tell you a trick. Here too, the direct approach is chosen and nothing else is revealed. Such newsletters are only worthwhile if the sender is known to the user. Then the recipient automatically completes the expected benefit of the email and gets involved in the experiment. Personalization and event trigger. Happy birthday, Mark. We have a special surprise for you. Personal address, proximity to the customer, almost a private email. Here too, most users will only respond if they know the sender or love the brand which amounts to the same thing from the recipient's point of view. Symbols and emojis, hungry for sun, you too. Personal address, plus a bit of playfulness and leaning on the snack communication of Generation Z. This is also an option to liven up subject lines. All tips are only as useful as the seriousness of the sender behind them. In addition, there is the perfect moment when an email meets a need. After seven days of continuous rain, you're probably more in the mood to click on the email with the sun in the subject than when you're on vacation and the birthday email should definitely arrive at the right time. A trick from the very analog era, from the time of printing and letter writing. The essence of the advertising message should be above the fold, i.e. in the part that the reader sees first. Incidentally, the formulation is taken from the newspaper example and also from completely analog letter communication. In standard envelopes, dinner four sheets are folded into two. When you take the letter out of the envelope, 
you only see the first third above the first folded edge. Whether you then unfold the letter, that depends on the subject and the first few lines. The analog and digital worlds are sometimes not so far apart. The rule for all texts is that they should be as short as possible. One thought and 10 to 16 words per sentence speak to the recipient. And they should do it directly. Our latest product is waiting just for you. It's much more appealing and personal than we have a new product in our range. The fear of the spam folder, please note here already, even if tools can support you, a few important rules. There are words that belong to the spam magnets. Free of charge, gratis, immediately, preferably in capital letters, are among them. But also the phrase no spam is rather harmful. Special characters are not liked by many email providers, especially in the subject line. Most emojis can now be separated from them, but there is no 100% guarantee. Therefore, the rule here is dose sparingly. That's your favorite pizza delivery guy wishing you a happy birthday. That's nice, indeed it is, but maybe not quite as personal as you think. 